Are there any uh, important issues for Irish Americans to be aware of, such as like maybe tariffs on Irish whiskey or anything like that? I would, <laughs> God forbid we would ever do something <laughs> like that, or the, or the beer. <laughs> Enjoy the Guinness, folks. Thank you Thanks very much. Nice. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. St. Patty's to you, too. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. We're here at the Dubliner. The Dubliner was opened in 1974 by Danny Coleman, son of an Irish immigrant. Danny built this bar, designed it very much like a, an authentic pub in the city of Dublin. It's one of the most famous bars in Washington. It's at the corner of F Street and North Capitol. Over on the wall over here, we have a shot of President Obama here for St. Patrick's Day. We're here today with Congressman Tom O'Halloran, who is a Democrat from Arizona. Tom, welcome. Uh, thanks a lot. Do you have some fond memories of St. Patrick's Day's past? Oh, God. You know, as a policeman, you used to be at the parades. And, yeah, and, in and, Chicago. Uh, security for the parades. And you turn the river green. And then you, know? uh, you take off your uniform and go somewhere else, you know. <laughs> uh, Chicago now, is, they, they've gone from St. Patrick's Day to St. Patrick's Day week. And it's, yeah. it's a constant yeah. party for a whole yeah. week. And then you have the downtown parade at one time, the south side parade, which is up and going again. And uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's a lot of celebrating. It's yeah. a, it is, and it, it's, yeah. enjoy, it's a fun group of people. Right. And in, truly in, in Chicago, at least, uh, and I've been to some parades to other places, everybody is Irish. Are there any Irish people in Arizona? Oh, there's a lot of Irish in Arizona. Do you have a particular Irish writer that you're uh, fond of? Well, you had mentioned earlier Joyce. If you if you yeah. don't if you're Irish and you don't appreciate Joyce, you're you're in big trouble. Uh huh. And uh, uh, you know it's it's not just uh, his style of writing; it's, it's it's how he brought his stories together. I think yeah. there's some paintings of him uh, on the walls I, I, I've somewhere seen in, in the, the bar. Past. How about Irish uh, musical groups or musicians? The Clancy Brothers are the ones I followed when I was growing up, and, okay. and I still listen to them. Yeah. I'm kind of partial to Wild Rover. Have oh, you, have you heard that song? Wild Rover, no, never, no more. I've been no. a Wild Rover, no, never. <laughs> well, I play the Wild Rover, no, never, no more. If you were able to have a Guinness with President Trump on St. Patrick's Day, what would your toast be? What would my toast be? For, for President Trump. I said, let's try to find unity. Okay. Uh, you know, Aeon is, uh, is unity in, in Gaelic. And I, I, I try to seek what we all want to seek in this world is coming together. And, uh, you know, us Irish, we're friendly people. Uh, we want to be friends with folks. And uh, I think the only way to do that is to try to come together. What would your toast be for all of your viewers at Roll Call and CQ? Um, have a great, have a great St. Patty's Day and, and a merry, merry, merry life. <laughs>